What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Horizon. Let's get straight into it. Surprise. The number of young single men in America is at a record high. This is why. According to Pew Research data that was released this week, a staggering 63% of men in their 20s are single, which is almost Dang. double that of women. I'm going to be single forever. I just realized that, man. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to be single forever. And I'll say that, and some people are like, that's sad. Nah, do it's not sad. It's reality, bro. There you go. Do you think? I'm going to be single forever third of men 33 percent a little over a third of men between the ages of 18 and 29 are not only single but they're not actively looking for a partner so i've got a question for the men so my comments are filled with guys saying we're done we don't we're not looking we like our peace i need some more talk from you guys tell me why you're done you know i'm seeing more and more of these videos and honestly it makes me sad because guys have told women why Thanks. we've made it very clear why we're walking away and we're walking away in droves, mm. and it's only going to get worse because yeah. you're not hearing why we're walking away. Thanks. It's very simple. Don't read between the lines. Hear these words. There is absolutely no benefit anymore to being in a relationship with a woman for a man. None. Zero. Zilch. Especially when you consider the risk compared to any potential reward. Roughly 55% of marriages end in divorce, and the guy loses everything. Add into it all the relationships where they weren't married, and the guy lost access to his kids and had to pay mounds of child support, and so on. Sad. When you really look at it, there's less than a one in four chance of having a successful relationship. Would you risk everything you have? Would you risk your children and having access to them, knowing you only had a 25% chance of success? I doubt it. Add to it, the expectations that today's women have are Insane. beyond absurd. Oh, yeah. We all joke about the sixes, but the reality is that is most women's expectation. You expect men to give, 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 and offer nothing in return. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying any of this to be mean, but I am being blunt in hopes you'll hear it. Just the reality. Because we've said it over and over and over again. And yet, you're still asking us, why are you walking away? That, in a nutshell, is the crux of the problem. You ask us, but you don't want to hear the response. Mm -hmm. And if you hear it, you don't want to accept it. My honest advice to you ladies is this. Get a mirror, look in it, and ask yourself, what are we offering to men? Why should men want to be with us? And if your answer is... Oh, they're is, all just going to be like, well, it's me. Come on, it's me. <laughs> I'm me. I'm cute. <laughs> Come on, honey. <laughs> Things like you have a great career or job. We don't care. Or that you're going to cook and clean. Mm. None of that matters it's to us. It's the basics. Not in the least. What matters to us? Peace, loyalty, and acknowledgement. Something very, very few women give to Fit feminine, uh, fit feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive, no children, quaint, uplifting, elegant, empathetic, and natural and nurturing. That's what we want. To their man. And until you're willing to give that, until you're willing to set aside your ridiculous expectations, those numbers you mentioned are only going to get worse. Mic drop. How is it that I look like this today? What? Yet no man wants me to be his Is this a serious question because women just went from saying they rather pick a bear over a man? Bro. So why the hell would men approach you or even look in your direction? <laughs> Facts. But not only that, so many women have taught men over the years that all men are predatorial. So the good men of the world gave up. Mm -hmm. And it's so funny because women will constantly say that men don't listen. But now that men are listening, y'all are wondering where the good guys are at, why they don't approach you anymore, and why men are just simply not interested. And why the hell would they be interested? They don't know if they're going to be the next subject of all men are trash mm -hmm. content on social media. They don't know if they're going to be accused of doing something they didn't do. They don't know if they're going to be used for dates. They don't know if they're going to be manipulated and then called a narcissist. And in this particular video, she's also asking why didn't they approach her because she looks the way that she looks. But the bottom line is, is most women are basic. basic. There's nothing special to them. We all look the freaking same. So, yeah, you actually have to come with more than just your looks. You actually need a personality nowadays, too. 
Preach, Goodbye. sister. Preach. So it's been brought to my attention that men no longer want to come up to women anymore. Due to sex allegations, women being just so rude and disrespectful and rejection. Yes. I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't know men didn't want to come up to women anymore. I'm barely finding this out. Why do women choose to cuss guys out when they come up to them and approach them? I have no idea. I apologize for that. Based. There's just too many fine men. And if it takes me, the women, be having to come up to you guys and shooting my shot, saying what's up, being the big stepper, then I'll just have to do that. That's and what it's going to take. You want us, you have to approach us now, ladies. I'm going to just start coming up to you guys and shooting out compliments and see where it takes me. So if I start coming up to y'all in the grocery store and I say, excuse me, sir, you are just so sexy. I want a response. Okay, I don't want to that No, 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 no. You're not going to get a response. You're going to get the same energy. Us as men in 2024, we're matching energy. You know what I'm saying? Because it's giving that you're entitled. So we're matching energy. You're going to come up and say sexy. I'm going to say, thank you. I'm good. No, thanks. I'm good. I'm trying to shop. Appreciate it. Keep it pushing. We're going to give you the same energy because the thing is you guys want equality. So now you have it. Don't expect any reciprocation. That's entitlement. Everything she's saying right there, like oh, I'll approach you. I'll be the big step up, whatever you're entitled. If you come up to me, I'm just like, I'm taken. Got a woman. Thank you so much. I'm married. Appreciate it. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. Got to No, I'm good. Thank you. But women don't approach me. Thank goodness. But I also am a hermit crab. I don't go out a lot. <laughs> so there's that. Hi, stuff. <laughs> What happened to men pursuing girls? When was the pivotal moment that a man chose to not go after a girl anymore and put in an sorry, those that, that thousand yard stairs getting me a little bit, fellas. Effort. It seems like guys can just put the bare minimum and not even really put an effort anymore. They don't really care to. Or they're like, why don't girls just go and make the first move and make the effort? When did it become a thing? Now it's like role reversal where they expect girls to be making the first move. Well, when your value went down, now you have to make the first move. If you women were all virgins, you hadn't had a lot of trauma, you hadn't been ran. She's a runner, she's a track star. Maybe it would be different. And also when men do approach you, you reject us. And usually it's very rude, very mean, very disrespectful. So why would we want to go out of our way to approach you when you're probably just going to shut us down? I'm sorry. So now we'll just wait or we'll just go our own way, which a lot of the guys in the chat are. Let me know in the comments who's in a relationship, who's not in a relationship. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to know yearning for a guy and chasing him that is i feel like the downfall of why it's so hard to meet someone because men don't put an effort anymore don't care to put an effort and a relationship it. won't work unless the guy likes the girl just a tiny little bit more He's i disagree i think the woman should like the man a little bit more because women are hypergamous in nature it goes back to their biological instinctual nature right they are hypergamous. They want the best. They want the cream, the cream of the crop, as uh, what's his name, Macho Man Randy Savage would say. <laughs> they want the cream of the crop. They want the best. So if you if if they feel like they're shooting up with you, that means they'll stay with you. If they feel like you're below them, they're gonna leave you. He has to like her just the tiniest bit more for it to work in the long haul. No. So it would make sense if a guy really wanted to get to know you, that he would go leaps and bounds to get to know you. And when did that shift? Because back in my mom's era, if a guy wanted to take you out on a date, he had to go up to you. He had to get your number. He had to go through lengths to try to talk to you, even if you weren't interested at first. How my parents met? They met at a bar, and my dad asked for my mom to dance. My mom was like, get out of here. She, did, she wanted nothing to do with him. If he had just left and listened to her, they would have never gone married. They would have never had kids. But he was persistent. He wanted to take her out on a date so badly. He was like, what do I have to do to take you out on a date? She was working late their first date, so he went to her work, picked her up, prepped a dinner, took her to a park, just plan the whole thing. Because if a man persisted like that in today's dating world, they he would at the very least be called a creep. And mm -hmm. at the worst, he'd be going to jail. That is the reality that a lot of men face. So that in Max. combination with the fact that women are not really reciprocating effort and they're not treating men very well right now, there is a large group of men that are saying that it's just not worth it. And they would say that women have asked for it. Mm -hmm. They have asked men to leave them alone. So guess what, ladies? They're leaving you alone. Hey, I am the problem. I went on a date with...
We started this channel back in November, and I think that's the first time I've seen a woman say, I am the problem. I think we've had a couple other women say, I messed up, but this is, this is poetry in motion right here. This guy, and he was like, it's getting late. Do you want to come back to my place? And I was like, sure, but I'm not going to sleep with you. Like, that's not happening. And he was like, that's totally fine. Just come over. And I was like, cool. So I go to his place. He respects my wishes. I'm sorry, but anytime a girl's ever said that, those are usually the one night stands. <laughs> Just so you know, I'm not sleeping with you. It's like, I'm hitting tonight. He's so nice. He cuddles me all night. And I'm like, are you f***ing gay? Like what? Wow. Dude, the homophobia like among these women shaming men. It's like, you told him no, and he's respecting that, but now you're shaming him? Like what? Like, I, I, he, I just wanted him to, like, try, and then for me to be like, no, you know what I mean? I wasn't going to sleep with him, but I just, now I feel ugly. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> this is what... 19 years old I've never had a boyfriend but what I do have is a 30 page list full of qualifications and standards said person has to meet. Oh! You're this girl made a video talking about her requirements to be her boyfriend and the comments are absolutely ripping this girl apart because whatever she's asking for in this video is a little bit too much so let's go through the video and let's see what is too much for these guys First of all, I have to be attracted to the person. Hey, number one, she has to be attracted to her partner. Mm, I know fair. how ridiculous of this girl to want to be attracted to her partner, but I'm sure something more unreasonable is coming up throughout this video. I used to be super picky about height, but now as long as you're taller than me, I'm cool with it. I'm 5'4", so it's not that hard. You just, but now you just gotta have a good, strong jawline and a sweet looking face. I'm okay, so the guy needs to be above five foot five and have a strong jawline. Okay. This is what we're complaining about, guys. See videos on TikTok where a girl's asking for a guy who makes a billion dollars and is seven foot, foot four, four. <laughs> but this this is what we're getting upset about. Okay, maybe maybe the video is gonna get more insane as we go on. Let's see what else she asked for. For smiles, I am pretty picky. You gotta have a good smile. I don't know, it just, to me, it's a really big deal. And you also have to like look clean. I don't know, hygiene is a huge thing for me. Must understand emotions. And I don't care if you're a little bit emotional too. Okay, so he needs to have a good smile. All right, dude, I don't need the play-by-play. -play. Goodness gracious, just let her talk. This is killing me. Friends, I wanna be your best friend and I want you to be my best friend. You have to match my obsession with the beach and- Wow, now that one was See, this is this is what a lot of these women want. They just want a mirror of themselves. They want a clone of themselves in a male form. I want you to like what I like. I want you to, I want you to enjoy what I enjoy. He's <sighs> slow, so you have to be willing to work with that. I need someone that has a very contagious laugh and that laughs a lot. <laughs> Her last two totally unreasonable requests are that he has a good laugh. And Dude, just let her just let her talk, bro. Are so high that this is an explanation for why she's been. You single a little mid to have that many standards? Oh my lord! Nineteen years when like that's literally a completely normal age to be single for. Like, what do you expect her to do? Have a relationship when she's four years old? One hundred percent more a reflection of the guys because if you cannot meet at least like ninety percent of that list, then I really don't know what to tell you. But I guarantee if you ask any of these guys, what would you like your girlfriend to look like? They'd all give some like absolutely ridiculous comparison of what they want their girlfriend to look like. This girl said that she wants her boyfriend to smile, take showers and just be a happy person. And guys are like, whoa, 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 dude, what, what fantasy world are you living in? To the girl in the video, don't take anything in the comment section seriously because that was one of the most basic and normal requirements I've ever heard a girl ask for for their partner on this app ever. Good for you. Wish you the best of luck. <sighs> I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Do you guys think that guy's a simp? He's a good looking guy. I could tell he had the veneers, he had the little eyebrow cut, but at the same time, these these women should be taking what they can get, right? I think the only reason, the only way you can have expectations that high is if you know you're bringing something valuable to the table. Yeah, you're 19, but are you fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive, have no children? Are you quaint, uplifting, elegant, empathetic, natural, and nurturing? Are, are you those things? Um, and I feel like the problem is nowadays is that 
people just have a checklist of what they're looking for. And if you don't hit that checklist, they're like on to the next. This is the problem with a lot of people having higher body counts. I think this is men and women. So, right, we got we to gotta hold each other accountable. The more bodies you have, the more you try to Frankenstein somebody. Well, Jeff had this, and Mark had that, and Jason had this. Same thing with women. Well, Jessica had that. Well, Martha had this. Well, I mean, to be honest, if you bucking with a girl named Martha. <laughs> <laughs> Times are definitely different now. I haven't met a girl named Martha in a month of Sundays. Um, that's, like, that's, like one of my, that's like my grandma's best friend was named Martha. You know what I mean? Um, um, <laughs> I don't know why I came up with that name, but here's what I think. I think people just just go out there and try to build a genuine connection with someone, right? You might be super interested in somebody that typically you wouldn't be physically attracted to, but then you get to know their personality and then boom, sparks are flying like it's July 4th, right? But the thing is, a lot of people don't give each other a shot. They don't give you that time to get to know somebody. And men, we're kind of over it. We've shot our shot for so long. You ladies have spoken up. You don't want us to approach you. Great, we won't approach you anymore. It's as simple as that. Because the thing is, if you wanted us to approach you, you would say, hey, approach us. But I also think you need to have enough intrinsic value and you need to have enough things going on in your own life where when you do approach someone, you are bringing value to the table. And that's men and women. Because you got to choose your heart, right? Single life is hard. Being in a relationship is hard. Marriage is hard. Being single is hard. Like, you got to choose your heart. If you want to be alone, as you get later on in your life, it's going to be very lonely. You don't have any kids. You don't have a significant other. You're just going to be peddling through life, and then you're going to be at the freaking, you know, at the retirement home or whatever, or at the nursing home by yourself. Nobody's going to come visit you. It's kind of lonely, right? Like, relationships are hard, but the thing is, you got to choose your heart. Which one do you want to be? Do you want to be in a relationship? Great. Do you want to be single? Great. I think to each his own. Whatever, whatever floats your boat. Different strokes for different folks. Ladies and gents, if you want to be alone, that's cool. I don't like being alone. I was, I was, um, I'll give you guys a little bit of background on me. I was raised as an only child. So like growing up, I was always like, I had to be extroverted to go, to go meet friends, to go, you know, build a little rat pack or wolf pack of my own. I had to go out of my way to meet people and say, Hey, you know what? Like give compliments. Hey, I really like your shoes. Hey, I really like your shirt and just build bonds with people. That was kind of like my superpower was going out and making friends right? I was an only child. So when I got home, my mom was at work and I just played Halo, I played Halo constantly. And I would get online and then I'd play and I'd meet people online. So I, I just got good at the gift of banter, which is maybe why the YouTube channel has been doing so well. But like, that was something I had to go out and get good at because I could have just got stuck in my own bubble and been an introvert and just never went out and got my own friends. And I would have been alone and things would have been very lonely. And then I was also girl crazy at that age, from the age of freaking 14 to probably 25. I was like, I just want to understand how to approach women, how to attract women. And I got really good at it. At least I thought I did. And I got as good as I could. And I always, you know, tried to try to be mentored by older guys. One of my best friends at the time, he had an older brother that was three years older than me. And he would always give me the sauce and the game of here's how you do this. Here's how to tech. Dude, I remember when texting first came out. And we were like, all right, how do we talk to girls via text? Because everybody was texting. But I remember the genesis of texting. It was crazy. It was absolutely wild. Like how to say just enough, but not too much. Like, and we weren't even using emojis. You know, we were using the little semicolon and the parentheses for smiles and winks. And you know what I'm saying? That's what we were using. <laughs> Nowadays, it's crazy. You can send gifts. You can send emojis. You can Snapchat, IG. There was none of that. Bro, I remember when we had Hotmail profiles. This is like pre-MySpace. Bro, it's crazy how much it's grown. And this is why I think with the growth of technology, it's made it harder and harder because there's so much instant gratification for women right now. They can go get on Instagram and regular women have the same pull as celebrity men so they can get out there and get so much attention. And we live in an attention economy right now. So these women get out there on social media and they get validated by random strangers and they think, oh my God, my value is so high. These men love me. Everybody loves me. When in reality, you're mid at best. Like you're just a regular old girl. But she gets online and she feels like a celebrity. Guys, do you think that happens a lot? No. But I have 100,000 followers on IG. Do you think I'm getting DMs? I'm not. I'm not at all. Stupid. I don't get DMs of girls being like, oh my God, you're so fine. That, that never happens to me. Ever happens to me, bro. Never. And so for a lot of people out there that don't, don't do social media, they don't have a big following, maybe they're not super photogenic, maybe they don't care about that standard of vanity of putting it online, like it's very hard for them to meet someone organically because a lot of people are just stuck behind a screen. Even when you go out, like the next time you go out, do this, a social experiment. Next time you go out, just count and see how many people are staring at their phones. 
Bro, it's so many. People aren't just sitting there. Like the last time I, I, I've seen a woman just sitting at a table, just sitting there, just like looking around. Dude, it's been years. Everybody's just glued to a phone nowadays. It's absolutely insane. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments if you're single or in a relationship. I want to know. I really do want to know. Don't forget to cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality, and then go follow me on Rumble. I really do appreciate you guys, man. I will see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Peace.